In the depths of meditative consciousness, there is a presence that is immutable. It does not change. It's the source of all of the things in this world. And that's what I'm painting about in my paintings. I'm creating the works out of that state to some degree, but then I want them to be almost like mirrors of that state and trust that others can see that as well. It's almost like an ocean of calm in the midst of this world that is always filled with turbulent change. It doesn't matter who we are, how old we are, what our race is, or our gender, we're all subject to ceaseless change. Everything is always changing. What we have to remember is that the source of this world is unchanging and perfect and immutable. That's what I'm painting about is that dialectic between those two. So often with the paintings there will be a surface that looks like it's aged or there might be, it might be cracked or shows some signs of turbulence. That's the nature of this world. The source of inspiration clearly is that greater mind, but you can see it in nature. Uh, we see it in our love and care for other people because love is sort of the universal energy. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. And yet, we can't grasp on to that. In the phenomenal world, there is a pre-existent spiritual world where that is abiding. Compositional forms that I use, like the circle, uh, the circle is a perfect mathematical shape, but it's ubiquitous in nature, like the disk of the sun and the moon are perfect circles, and uh, if we look into each other's eyes, we also see a perfect circle. And then I use a lot of ancient pigments, including gold and silver, uh, lapis lazuli, rose matter in this current batch of work. And these ancient pigments have the capacity to withstand the test of time. I've seen some incredible works of art in my travels where I was just sort of awestruck or in a state of astonishment. It, it made it so that I couldn't speak. <laughs> you know, I was speechless because they're so powerful. So why is it that we're moved and inspired by their work? It's because there's something universal present in great art. Now this is in, you know, distinction from the postmodern idea that all art is culturally relative and there is no universal aesthetic of art and beauty. I don't believe that. I think there clearly is a universal aesthetic of art and beauty. And in the modern period, we've sort of overreached and started to think it's all relative. We think everything's relative. Beauty is relative, truth is relative. I don't agree with any of that. All of those things are universal, and that is the source of inspiration for my paintings, is some of these great artworks that I've seen. And I'm seeking to create works that are on par with that, that not only embody the universal aesthetic of art and beauty, but that can carry that through time into the future. In the depths of meditative consciousness, time is Actually, there's a profound simultaneity. So all that we ever have is an eternal present moment.